I am Dr. Surekha Tiwari. I am a practicing homeopath in Bangalore for the last 21 years and in this profession for the last 31 years. And I have two clinics, one in HSR and one in AECS layout. COVID vaccination or for that matter, any of the vaccinations which we give, we take, are basically to promote our defense mechanism. How is the defense mechanism promoted? That when you introduce a very weakened protein or a germ into the system, the defense mechanism of the body rises. So there are two responses. The first response is antibody to that particular allergen or bacteria or virus is produced. The second reaction is a memory, what is known as the T lymphocyte cells, a memory builds for this particular strain of virus. So in future, if I or anybody for that matter is exposed to this virus, the T cells are in place, they have been sensitized and they will produce antibodies. So those the antibodies can fight the infection within our body. This is the process of immunity. When a vaccine is given, because a vaccine is an unknown trait, it will require some resources from us. So it will require the beta cells to produce, it will require the T lymphocytes to produce. Now these cells to get produced, you will need to have a little bit of patience because A, you're likely to have very mild symptoms of fever, very mild symptoms of body aches, very mild symptoms of having a very, very generalized fatigue. There were a lot of people who complained that they got diarrhea after the vaccine. All these are phenomena which are caused because the body resources are being used in one unidirection to produce immunity. But all these are immediate effects. They are going to be there for some time and they will disappear also for a very short time. But the long term effects are people who've had a lot of deficiencies. Now let's say for example you're called out that you need to have a defense mechanism but your diet has not been the best. Your vitamin levels have not been the best. You have not been extremely careful with your nutrition. In that case, the antibody generation, the raw material required, which the body will garner through your diet is insufficient. So we doctors, we've been telling people that while you're on vaccination, please maintain a good, healthy diet. Make sure that your protein levels are good. Make sure that your vitamins and minerals which are provided are good. Make sure that you drink a lot of water. If these three basic rules are followed, then the long term and the short term effects of COVID vaccine can be easily dealt with. They do not stay for a long time.